Well, good evening. Ethan back for a beer review tonight. It's been a while. Um, I've just been a little under the weather the last week or two. Had a lot of things going on, but I am back in the saddle. As Aerosmith said, complications arose, ensued, or overcome, as Captain Jack said. And I am back reviewing Foster's Premium Ale. Uh, this is a beer, an ale. I believe it's styled after an English bitter style beer from Australia, uh, brewed in South Bank, Victoria, in Australia. I've seen this before. I've had it once before a long time ago, but I don't remember what it was like. Foster's was established in 1888. Australia's famous beer brand, they say. There's a little kangaroo on the label. Um, this is 5.5% ABV. Uh... 161 calories per 12 ounce, so not a real heavy beer, kind of a, you know, pale ale style, I'm guessing. I had it once before, but like I said, I, I don't remember it. Um, it was, it's been a while, but uh, this is a pint and 9.4 ounces, so what is that, like 25.4 ounces? It's nice stocky fat can i got this at Publix supermarkets uh it's always at Publix for some reason i don't know why and um you can get it at liquor stores and whatnot uh here and there N not very um not everywhere though you can't get this everywhere but for some weird reason it's always at Publix. uh celebrated worldwide never really had a lot of beers from australia this is one of the ones from australia one of the few that i know of on the can, it says, over 125 years ago, during the summer of 1888, the Foster brothers gave the thirsty people of Melbourne, Melbourne their first taste of true refreshment. Let's go ahead and crack it, if I can. There we go. A lot of smoke coming out of here. Let's get a pour and my Pilsner-style glass. So oh, it's dripping a little bit. There we go. Try to get a... Uh, I just want to drip down the can. All right, it generated about a three-finger head, perhaps. Kind of a, a, a medium to dark golden appearance. Darker than straw, I'd say. Kind of a, almost a caramel. Hold it up to the light. Ascending bubbles. Let's get an aroma. Kind of a faint aroma. A little bit of a bread cracker biscuit, maybe. I'm not getting a lot of aroma, actually. Maybe it's because I've been sick, like I said. But my, I'm much better now. A faint kind of a barley malt aroma. Head's kind of sticking around a little bit. Nice appearance. Kind of a little darker. This is darker than your American adjunct lagers. Um... Like I said, I believe it's kind of patterned after um, European-style ales, bitters, I think they call them. I don't know what the IBUs are. I was kind of hard to find some information on that, but I saw maybe 22, but mm, I don't know if I believe that. The source was not that legitimate-looking to me, but uh, I seem to remember this being a little more bitter, so 22 seems a little on the low, but we'll see if I can kind of guesstimate. Very nice. Not bitter at all. 22 IBUs, I would say, yeah, probably, at most. Nice and smooth, crispy, kind of a a barley forward uh, flavor. IBUs are low, like I said. Not a lot of bitterness, not a lot of hot bitterness going on. It's sweet in a good sense. I need to drip down the can there on the table. It's very good. Um, mm, mm, excuse me. <clears throat> what would I compare this to that I've had before? Or I don't know. It kind of tastes like a Yingling or something, but better. This is a good beer. Wow, better than I remember it. Um, I think I, I think I had it like three years ago, like on a whim, before I was even like 
knew anything about beer. I mean, I, I still know nothing compared to many of the greats out there, but I remember not really caring for it. And trying this now, I like it a lot better than I remember liking it. I guess I've just, my taste, my beer tasting capabilities or palate has evolved and changed over the years, hopefully, but this is really good. You can also get the the blue can, which I believe is like the lager version. This is the ale version. I also got one of those, so I'll review that as well. But this is a great beer from Australia, premium ale, Foster's. You might not see it everywhere. Ale with caramel color, brewed and packaged under the supervision of Foster's Brands Ltd. by Oil Can Breweries in Fort Worth, Texas. So I'm guessing they ship it out of Australia to Fort Worth, Texas. And it says brewed in the USA with U.S. and imported ingredients. Is there a Best Buy? Oh, there is. May 17, 21. So well within freshness date, time frame, parameters. Great beer. I'd give this a... Man, it's been so long since I've done a beer review on YouTube that I'm kind of forgetting how to do it, but it, it'll it'll catch on. I enjoy it so much. Um, I would give this Foster's Premium Ale a 94, 95 even. We'll go 95. This is really good. It's, it's light in the sense that it's refreshing and drinkable, right? But... It's tasty. Like it has a nice beer flavor. Very standard kind of a beer, wet bread, kind of a cracker flavor. You're getting a nice barley malt, a little bit of bitterness perhaps, but minimal bitterness. It just has a nice all around beer flavor. Uh, you know, it tastes like an ale, you know, like a just a standard like pub style beer. European kind of maybe. It's really good. I like it. I don't know how many countries you can get this in. I didn't do a whole lot of research on it, honestly. It's pretty late. I'm tired. It's been a long week, but this is a great beer. I'd, I'd recommend this. You know, if you see it, get it and try it and buy it. It's excellent. It's just, it's, you know, I don't know how else to describe it, but it just has a nice beer flavor. It's tasty, but it's not watery and light, and it's not overly heavy on the mouth or thick or uh you know high calories or it doesn't make you full it's refreshing but you know you get a good flavor and a good you know presentation with the beer we'll go 95 for the fosters premium ale from australia the land down under six feet tall and full of muscles um it's excellent you know thank you for watching cheers